Welcome to Jasmine's Mini World. So today we will be going into the past history of an everyday object that you use daily, almost like 24-7. <laughs> okay, so this mystery object is dun 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 dun. this video is going to be but yeah during that video you're going to learn about the history of a pencil and it's got a very long inch but interesting history that I think you'll enjoy whatever whoever you are if you're if you're like just a kid or you're even like an adult I'm sure you'll enjoy it because it's got a very exciting history okay so Without further ado, let's get started. So here I actually have um, like this frame thing. So it looks nice. I painted this actually. And I've got my notes so that I can explain to you because I don't have a very good memory. <laughs> so that's just something. Okay, so before we get started, I wanna, I'm wanna i gonna ask you a question. And you can pause the video if you need some more time. What is the thing in pencil that you draw with, like this black part, made of? Get your thinking caps on, because it's a little tricky question. All right, I've got my thinking cap on. There we are. Okay, so, no, it's not lead. Yes, you're right. It is graphite. Good job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, so now let's get into the real history. Right, so the real history of this is, so basically I'm gonna be telling you where it was found first. So, so it was actually found in Barrowdale in England in the early 1500s. And it wasn't actually, and it was found by accident. Mm -hmm. Now, what actually happened was the locals of Borrowdale, they started to, they saw some uprooted trees due to a recent storm that happened quite previously. Recently, I mean. And that, and they saw some uprooted, uprooted trees. And then they started to investigate further, like what was, what, what was in there, because they saw something peculiar. And that thing that was peculiar was graphite. Now, the locals hadn't really seen or heard of this, um, this very odd to them, like, thing. They, they were very confused and puzzled. But then, they figured out that it left the color behind. Now, this was very new to them. And they were so, like, amazed. And they, and like, if this was what the, um, if this, if I were a local right at that moment, I'd say this. Oh, wow, mate, this is spectacular. This leaves its color, color behind. Oh. Also, it's in the form of a man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I hope you like my impression. So good. Okay, so then guess what they did? No, they didn't start writing with it. No, they didn't mark homework or essays. But they marked their sheep. Yeah. So they put A for, I don't know if it was, if the, a person's sheep, like if a person was called Andy, they put an A, B, Bethany, I don't know. They'd mark their sheep so that they'd know. And I have to admit, it's a pretty good idea. Okay, so that's what they used it for. Okay, so I think you, well, I think you guys might be wondering, and I, and I was also too, until I did the, this research. And I was always wondering, how does graphite, a solid, leave its color behind? I mean, I'm pretty sure no solid leaves its color behind, apart from like, obviously, graphite. Now, I'm gonna be telling you why. Basically, graphite is made from layers of carbon atoms. These look like flat sheets connected together by really weak bonds, like super weak. So what actually happens is when you drag your pencil along, I'll show you. 
when you drag your pencil along, it creates a mark. So now you know how it's formed. Let's move on. So before, they would use string or cloth to cover it because they found it very messy to just use a stick and it could break very easily. So, so yeah. But then they didn't really like that using string or cloth. So an Italian couple in 1560, they decided, they, they thought of this genius idea of encasing it in wood. Yep, encasing it in wood. That's how we know them today. But they didn't actually create it. So then a person in 1795, a person called Nicolas Jacques Conté made and created the pencils we know today, which are like these. Or the ones that, you know, have yellow stripes and the black ones, you know, the normal school pencils. <laughs> I just have this one here because this is the closest one I could find. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so the way that they created a normal pencil was rather simple, the process at least. So they mixed water, clay, and graphite, of course. And they mixed it together at 1900 Fahrenheit. So they mixed it very well so that all the, everything was mixed very nicely. Then they encased it in a small wood casing. And then that's how it became the normal pencils. But I guess you're wondering, well, why, why did they make this mixture if graphite worked so perfectly fine on its own? Well, the answer is simple. S-I-M-P-L-E. I can spell simple. Okay, so what actually happened was it created different pencils. Now, I don't, I'm not sure, too sure if you've heard this, but there are different types of pencils such as HB, 2B, 2H, 3H, etc. And this this helped this helped like artists or whoever to make different types of like pencils, like shades. So like, you know, there's only so hard you can press on a normal HB normal pencil that you would use for school or wherever, pencil, there's a, it's only so hard you can press on it and to make it so dark. But you, let's say you needed to make it even darker because you were replicating, um, I don't know, coal maybe? <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Something that's really black, black. And you didn't really want to like make it like really light because I, I because if you press really hard on a normal HB, it won't go very dark as much as an 8B. Now, I, in fact, have a whole set of different pencils from, like, 2H to 8B. And it, and I don't know if you understand, but, like, it's, it's quite cool to have different... Because 2H is really, really, really light. And then... 8B is super dark, like super, super, super dark. <laughs> okay, so speaking of pencils, let's go on to a trivia for you guys so that you can like, you know, this will be a very interesting part. So this interesting part is, you know, you know Greek, you know Greeks, I guess you probably do. Well, the word graphite derived from the Greek word graphene. And graphene means to write. So it's really, it's quite like interesting, you know, to learn about these stuff. Okay, so another quick trivia for you guys. Did you know on the HB scale, H stands, so let's just imagine that it said HB on here. So what would actually, so H stands for, yeah, you got it, hard. And what does B stand for? I'll let you have a little, I'll, you can 
pause this video and I'll let you have a little think. Okay, time's up. Right. So, B stands for black, which means the H, H B stands for, in full form, hard black. I bet you didn't know that. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, now you know that this small little ordinary object that you use every day, what's what an ordinary object how an ordinary object could have so much of an interesting history. I mean, you have to admit, you did not know that a simple little thing like this item could have such a long, 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 long history. So yeah, <laughs> now you know, you can, and also, if you're gonna go on telling your friends or whoever about this, you can impress your teacher actually. I bet they didn't know. It's all true. I've done research. So you can like be assured that it definitely is real. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed learning about an ordinary object, like a pencil. And you like, yeah, just enjoyed it. You. You, I think I don't think you guys knew it, so I thought I'd maybe make a video on it. So I think I may make more videos like this. Like I may make up. I don't know. I think about it. But I'm sure. But stay tuned for my next video. Oh, and don't forget to click that subscribe and like button. Until then, goodbye. E, see you for, in my next video.